It was a long break because I was ocupado. Ocupado. <laughs> Why did I just say it? Anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this design in Marvelous Designer or Cloth 3D. Well, before I start, I want to let you know that this is not a step by step video because it took near three hours to make the entire dress. And I don't want to just upload a boring three hours long video. My audience retention is already very bad. Although, I am not gonna skip any necessary part, I promise you. With that being said, let's get started. As you might know that whenever I make dress, almost always I start with a basic t-shirt block that helps me so much and I always pay extra 10% attention to check if everything is fit. Because when you add details and cool stuff, it's so hard to go back to the basic block and fit it. Trust me, fitting and making minor adjustments are not as amazing as adding cool details, but you have to consider fitting. Okay, so when you fit the garment and satisfied with that, let's now modify it. The very first thing I did was I added the placket. And if you're curious to know how I made this, it's very simple. What you need to do is you need to add an internal line like this. Then select the internal line and make the fold angle almost zero or zero. So the line extrudes. Then copy this and paste with right click. I here went for around 28 lines. You can add as many lines as you can. And with that, you have an amazing effect on the top. And I love it. Well, now to make the placket a bit nicer, add some lines. These lines will work as buttons. You can also add real buttons if you want, which Marvel Designer provides. Now, time to make the sleeve. But before it, I added dirt in this area to fit nicely. It will be a piece of sleeve design. So first, make a simple sleeve pattern. You can also have a look sleeve patterns on Google. Just search it. Then make it full by dragging this line down. Now, to make this area fluffy, all you need to do is to select this line with transform pattern tool and double click in the middle to activate the pivot and drag like this. The more you make this line wider, the fluffier sleeve you'll get. And lastly, add a curve to finish the sleeve. Great. All right, at this point, I really didn't like the top design that much. So what I did was I selected the top line, this line, and increased the fold strength. And that gives me the amazing bulging effect, which I wanted to make. All right, the top design is done. And if you're still watching, give this video a like. It boosts my confidence. Thank you. Now, to make this skirt, it's quite easy. Start from the waistband, which is basically a rectangle pattern. Adjust the waistband so it stays on top of the top. Now, I'm also going to give the same effect to the waistband as I did here. So I added a bunch of internal lines and crank up the fold angle. Same as before. Now select every second internal lines and increase the fold strength to have amazing effect on the waistband. Great, we're almost there. Mm, not really. Anyway, I advise you to freeze everything before making the skirt part. It will make your life easier. So making a circle skirt is very simple. All you need to do is to add a circle pattern. And if you hold shift on your keyboard while dragging, it will create a perfect circle. I think everyone knows that. Yeah. Then make a hole in the middle and sew it with the waistband. And please be very careful when you sew. Make sure the sewing threads are straight and simulate. Then you can adjust the pattern however you like to have an amazing skirt. Great, I don't like it because I want to make the skirt a bit fluffier to balance the overall design. So what you can do is make another fabric, make sure the fabric property is polyester to feta or similar fabric, and when you simulate, boom. And then I did some final adjustments to make the overall outfit look good. All right, now let's make the outfit more detailed. And here's the spoiler. It will take so much computing power. If your computer is potato like me, it will be french fry, believe me. But I don't care. Let's add details. So I started with the sleeve. It's just your personal preference. Just to reduce the particle distance of each pattern accordingly. Find a balance between detailing and performance and you're good to go. 
So here on the sleeve, I added an internal line close to the cuff area because in this area, you will have more gathering. And then I cut and sew it and make the specific pattern more detailed by reducing the particle distance a lot. And most importantly, the skirt. I also cut them in pieces. And here, I reduce it so much, here a little, and here a lot little, a lot little, huh? I'm not sure it's even a word. Anyway, I also added some buttons to finish things up. All right, the 3D model is done and it's quite a lot of work. Now let's make the color and it has to be beautiful. So this is some of my color combinations that I picked for the top and skirt design. Yes, I applied every color combination and render it and finally chose this one. And comment down your favorite color combination. When I chose those combinations, I made those texture in Substance Designer. And yeah, I forgot to record that part. I know, I know, I'm idiot, I know. But I tried to make this as cotton poplin type fabric. And this is the final render. Let me know in the comment, what do you think about this? And if you want to watch a step-by-step -step without voiceover, basically very boring video of this one, go and watch it from my Gumroad page. It's free. It's completely free. But if you want, you can pay anything. That will be super helpful to me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next time. Bye.